watching. So today I'm going to be doing like a product review slash mini haul, I guess. I have been ordering like way too many um, cosmetic products within like the past month. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of reviews on all of the things that I have purchased. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Anastasia Brow Wiz and their contour kit and the Tartlet palette. If you guys have heard of any of those products, I'm sure you have. They're pretty popular. Um, as you guys know from watching a couple of my other tutorial videos, I do not like my eyebrows. I freaking hate them. So I wanted to try out the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is an extremely um, little pointed um, eyebrow pencil. It's extremely, extremely tiny. I was kind of wondering if it was even going to do anything because it was so small. I'm so used to my big, thick Avon brow pencils, but I did try this out today and I really like it. Um, I used my Avon one first and then used this because I was nervous I might mess up with this. So that's why, I don't know, they kind of look the same as always. But I'm going to try tomorrow with just this. But so far, I do like this. It does give a really sharp line. It has the little brow brush at the other end for you to comb through your brows. So, so far, I do like this. I did order this on Ulta's website. It was $21, but because my birthday was in December and I hadn't used my um, birthday... Um, rewards or whatever you want to call it for making platinum, I got $10 off. So that was nice. <clears throat> the contour kit. It's, it looks so much bigger on everyone else's uh, YouTube videos. So I was expecting this to be a little bit bigger than it is. Like, I don't know. Hopefully you guys don't think it looks big in my video, but it's not that big. I mean, don't get me wrong. You get really um, decent size colors in here it's just the palette itself when I first like started hearing about it and watching videos on it like it just looked bigger on film and I think that's because cameras make everything look bigger mm. but anyway so this is what it looks like I have tried the banana shadow once or the banana powder excuse me only once I wasn't that happy with it like I'd much rather use my Ben Nye banana powder like this I don't know it just seemed really chalky but it's just not as like I don't know my banana powder when I put it on because it's a it's just a, um, a powder like it's really pigmented when I put it on this it's like I don't really see it doing anything just my personal opinion the color that I have I haven't even used these two or this one this one right here is like a, a shiny highlight that you can use for your cheekbone or wherever you would like to highlight but I use this one here for my contour, which is called Fawn. And I absolutely love it. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, my contour. I didn't really do an extensive one today, but I do like the contour palette, but only mainly for that color. To me, this is $40. Um, you can buy it at Ulta, Sephora, or order it online. If you order it on Anastasia Beverly Hills website, you can actually pick your own different pan colors to put in here for $40, so I don't know. I would much rather just go out and buy a color that is really close to this, like in its own compact, and use my Ben Nye Banana Powder. This is nice, don't get me wrong, I do like it, it's just, I don't know. I was a little let down, that's all. And then I did buy the um, Tart Tartlet Palette, they're Amazonian clay um, eyeshadows or whatever. I'm still like learning a lot of this stuff because I've never purchased any of these before. But let's make sure we know that this is not as big as it appears. It's not that big. Um, yeah, so I went into Sephora and I purchased this. This is $44, but it's completely worth it. Mine, I'm not even going to lie, is a freaking disaster because I've been using it like nonstop. But anyway, you get 12 shades in here. You have your neutrals at the top, which are like your um, light to dark browns. Shut the palette. The middle row is like light to darker purples. And then the bottom is another like um, light to darker neutrals to the black. I absolutely love this palette. It's all matte shadows, which I don't have like any all matte anything because I really do like shimmer. But I have been like obsessing over this palette like I used it for the past three days now I actually posted a look on my um what is it called my blog I don't know if you guys um have checked that out yet but my blog 
Um, I did post pictures of me. I created like a so, uh, just a very subtle, sultry kind of um, plummy Valentiney look that I did. I just randomly came up with it one day and I really, really like it. I have it on today, but I kind of smoked it out just a little, little bit more. But this palette, it's a necessity. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I think everybody should have these colors in the matte form in their, like, eyeshadow collection. I'm not even kidding. As soon as I hit pan on one of these shadows, I'm going back and buying another one because I really, really like it. The packaging is extremely nice. It actually feels luxurious and everything. And then it has this gorgeous big mirror. Hey, camera. The big mirror inside. So I do take this with me pretty much on an everyday basis just so that I have it for touch-ups if I need it or just to look at myself pretty much because it's such a nice mirror. But, um... <laughs> Don't ask. I'm like totally out of it. It's Friday. I got my lighting in today. It's a freaking nightmare because it's much bigger than I was expecting it to be. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about about this palette is the names of the colors are so adorable. It goes Free Spirit, Force of Nature, Dreamer, Multitasker up on the top. And then the second row is Caregiver, Natural Beauty, Best Friend, Bombshell, which is all the purples. And then Supermom, Wanderer, Power Player, and Fashionista on the bottom. The black is quite nice. It's very pigmented, if anything. What is my other favorite color in here? Oh, I use Supermom, like, way too much. It's just, like, the perfect highlight for under the brow. Or you can use it all over the lid. I use this one, too, a lot, Dreamer. It's, like, the... I love it. I love all these these damn colors like I really do like at first when I was watching reviews and reading about it online I was like it's totally like I can't even get the black off right now I'm trying to wipe it off okay well anyway when I was reading reviews about this I was like oh it's kind of like to me it's not worth the money but when I went in Sephora and I saw it I was like you know what I'm just gonna try it see what all the fuss is about and I'm not even kidding I love it I love it I would recommend this to anybody anybody um, the brow is, when I get some more feedback on it, I'll let you guys know how I like it. I did want to try their little, um, pot one that you, like, put on with a brush. But I don't know if that's going to be too messy for me, because, I don't know, I hate my brows. So, um, I don't know if I'll buy that yet, but I will give you guys a definite, um, better review on this after I've used it a few more times. And as far as the Anastasia contour kit, like... If you're going to use all the shades in here, you can go ahead and buy it, but I mean, I've only used the banana powder once, and I didn't think it gave me the best coverage like my Ben Nye banana powder does, and my Ben Nye is cheaper, and it's ten times more. Like, let me show you. Look at this thing. I bought this back in, I want to say, June or July of last year, and can you guys see where it is? Like... And look at how it moves. Just look at that. Oh my god. It's like silk powder. I love this stuff. And if you let it sit on your face for a few seconds or even a few minutes while you're doing other things, when you go to rub it out, it just gives this gorgeous highlight underneath. I love it. I love this. I recommend this. I love it. I just don't think that this palette is worth the $40. That is my personal opinion. I mean, I've heard about that Kat Von D palette that's out too. Um, I don't really think I'll be splurging and buying that one. I only like the one color in here. It's not like I'm going to order it off their website. I'm going to find another color that is extremely close to this in its own little um, package and go with that after this. Because maybe I'll use some of the other colors like in the summer. But as you guys can see, I'm white. Extremely white. But yeah, so that is my personal opinion on the uh, products I showed you guys. So get back to you on this. Go out and buy this if you totally can and then don't really bother with the contour kit. But I guess that is pretty much everything I wanted to talk about for today. I will be doing more videos on everything else that I bought because I did do an Ulta order, a ColourPop order. Um, oh, uh, Makeup Geek, I did an order with them. I ordered some more brushes from Morphe Brushes. So far I do like their brushes, but I will get back to you with a full review on those after I get my second order. And yeah, there's a few other things that I will discuss in other videos too. And I'm actually going to be coming out with like hopefully a video series of 
me going through all of my makeup, like individual um, things, like I'll do all my foundations, all my makeup palettes, like my eye palettes, uh, concealers, etc., etc. I'm going to go through all of them, figure out how many I have, and try to get rid of at least two or three of each of the things. I don't know why I can't get rid of half, so. But I want to get rid of a lot of what I have that I'm not using, and I actually am already donating a couple things to other people right now, so. Just to keep my inventory um, at somewhat of a normal level instead of like psycho why are you buying so much makeup level. I do want to show you guys uh, the lighting that I have going on because I just got my lighting in today and it's much bigger than I was expecting. So I'm just going to take the camera and show you guys what it looks like and I'm really hoping that I look okay in this video because I mean in my viewfinder I look okay but I don't really know. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, let's uh, focus. Okay, guys, so this is like my really messy ass <laughs> vanity area. Very, very sorry. Oh, <laughs> this is so weird. But anyway, these are the lightings that I just got in today. I ordered on Amazon. <laughs> I didn't know that they were going to be so damn big. I don't know what I was expecting. They actually go up further if I need them to and I can move the umbrellas. But I just wanted something to really illuminate my face because the other lamp I was using for my makeup tutorials is just a nightmare. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you enjoy watching my craziness. Um, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you are interested in seeing all of those other videos I was talking about. And let me know what you guys think about my lighting, if I look okay in this. I mean, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye. I'm having a blonde moment right now. Why am I having a blonde moment right now? <sighs> anyway, I'm umbrellas now. Oh my god. When my boyfriend gets home, he's going to be like, what the hell is this? Mm. Oh. I want, like, a real opinion on this. Like, truth, honesty. My boyfriend bought me these sunglasses. Okay. What do you guys think of them? Do they look okay on me? I do want an honest opinion because I don't know if I'm feeling them. I'm not really sure if I look like an idiot or not. They kind of remind me of like cop glasses, but when you look through them, it gives like this little pink tint, but not too pink. It doesn't even matter. Anyway, what do you guys think of them? My boyfriend bought them for me because I broke my only nice pair of, well, they weren't really nice, but cheap ass pair of sunglasses that I loved and loved and loved and had for years. So he bought these for me, and uh, yeah. I'm just not too sure about them. Can y'all give me an opinion, please? I'm so hyper for like no reason. like. No reason. I don't get it. It must have been the tea I had at my mom's house. She made like this tea and I'm like off the damn wall. I didn't think it was caffeinated. Oh my god. If you guys watched, I think, I think it was my October jewelry, Avon jewelry haul, I had on my favorite sunglasses of life. But they're very old. I bought them in Block Island years ago. And they just finally broke and I could cry because I loved them. But these are nice, I guess. I just don't know if they look okay on me, like on my face shape. Yeah, I'm one of those days.